So I want to spend some time because the people that are going to be listening to this podcast are going to be primarily brands, right? It's going to be brands that, you know, want to know that are either in Ulta and want to know more about what your vision is for the future or smaller brands that are making the decision between, you know, staying direct to consumer or going retail or going to different retailers. Do I go to Ulta or do I go to Target or do I go to Sephora? So I'd love to just really dive into that topic of your relationship with the brands and how you think about that from a marketing perspective. Because I know that um, you know having a reputation as a brand builder is, is, is pretty critical. So maybe high level before I go into the, the specific questions, how do you think about your relationship with the brands from a marketing perspective? And then how do you interact with them to uh, kind of co-market yourself? Well, first of all, we, you know, we, we don't think of them as vendors. We think about yeah. them as brand partners. They really mm -hmm. are partners. We think about ourselves and brands think about us as a place for growth. We've mm -hmm. had an unbelievable mm -hmm. growth story. Yeah, for sure. No doubt about that. Yeah. When brands look around and survey the landscape, <laughs> it's pretty clear that Ulta Beauty is a place for brands to, to grow. And, yeah. um, and, you know, second, I would say I'm, I'm very proud, you know, back to a, a data point, I'm very proud that um, we are the number one preferred brand partner. McKinsey actually did a study last year to understand um, our brand's perceptions. And mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. asked you know, who they most want to partner with, we were the number one on that list. That's cool. Versus any other retailer across all the retailers that you mentioned and, and so many more. That means a lot to us because, you know, back to how we operate as a team, um, partnership, collaboration, focus, vision, um, understanding, empathy, all of those things come to life in our partnerships with our brands. And mm -hmm. that's a big piece of why they, they want to work with us. And then the, the second thing, you know, I would say is back to the growth idea. We've done so much over the past five, six years to establish how we take brands to market. So think about big brand launches mm -hmm. like KVD Vegan Beauty, Beekman 1802. We're in the middle of our Alicia Keys Keys Soul Care launch. The way we've been able to take these brands to market and make a big splash and, and make them successful has has grown and grown as a you know key muscle of ours now. The second thing I would say is you know really ramping up ways for brands to invest with us and and use our data to make their marketing dollars and ours more successful. Um, mm. You know back to performance marketing and yeah. you know, return on ad spend. This is an area where you know because we have. 30 plus million guests and we have their you know beauty spend across categories across price points across you know, products and services the ability for us to be able to target in the digital and social space and um, and and partner with our brands to be able to do that is really unparalleled so that's been a really exciting piece and we're really gonna ramp that that opportunity up for the brands this year. Um, the, the last thing I would say is our big tent pole events, uh, like 21 days of beauty, which just started mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, is a, <laughs> nice. is a great, is a great opportunity for us to showcase a lot of the hero brands and so many more. Um, we, you know, we have 21 days of beauty. We have gorgeous hair event, love your skin event, all these tent pole events that our guests love and they're looking for, you know, new products, hero products, and that's their kind of time of exploration. That actually, I'll, I'll mention one, one more um, because it's particularly important. When we think about smaller brands and how we nurture smaller brands, we've crafted mm -hmm. multiple platforms to be able to do that. One is Sparked at Ulta Beauty, which we launched about two and a half years ago. And that really is to take these digitally native up and coming brands um, and give them space in the store, space on the site, and really bring their stories to life so that we can, you know, we, we can be the nurturers of these baby brands. Yep. And the last one I, I'd say is, you know, we, we've really doubled down in the last year on our focus on black owned brands and bringing those, those amazing brands and founders to life. 
Um, and it includes, you know, going all the way to at the end of January, launching our Muse platform, which stands for Magnify, Uplift, Support, and Empower. And it's 100% 100 focused on celebrating black voices in beauty. So I'm excited about that, you know, that way that we bring brands in and bring them to the world. So 100% growth partner, and I'm really, I'm really proud of how we've built our reputation as the, the place for brands to come and grow.